welcome to the Lunar Retrospect. This week I have four flavors from Velvet Cloud Vapor. Their website is velvetcloud.com. Um, got in contact with them because I heard about uh, their all natural VG juices and I was intrigued by the idea and wanted to give it a shot. They sent me out four flavors to try and do a review for you. So uh, first off we have Night Shift, which uh, they bill as a glazed chocolate donut and creamy coffee with light sugar. Um, I, I, when you smell it, it definitely smells like a, a Dunkin' Donuts or a Tim Hortons when you first walk in. You've got the pastries baking and the coffee's being made and you can smell all of that. Um, and when you vape on it, it's 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 about the same. I mean you, you definitely get that that creamy like cappuccino type flavor. Um, not really my cup of tea. Ha ha ha. Um, but it's it's not bad. It's it's definitely something that'll grow on you. And honestly, um, when I first vaped on it, I had a uh, .3 build in a series box, and then I moved over to the parallel box with a point, point zero six, point zero five ish build. Um, I think that the more heat of, of the parallel box build um, definitely improved on the flavor, which, I mean, who would have thunk it? Coffee tastes better hot. But, uh, still, still for me, it's not, it's not one that I would go out and, and purchase because I'm not a coffee buff. I don't I don't drink coffee. I don't really like coffee, but there have been a few coffee flavor vapes that I could see myself vaping if, if I was in need of something different and you know, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Um, not a bad flavor. Next in line is their uh, vanilla custard. They say a thick delicious favorite creamy vanilla custard. You open it up, it smells like, you know, your vanilla pudding, Bavarian cream, vanilla custardy flavor smells. Um, again, another one that, that tasted better. It tasted better on the uh, parallel box with, with the lower own build. Um, on the series box I was, you know, it was just standard vanilla custard, everybody has one type of thing and there was no real wow factor for it. Um, as I baked it on the uh, parallel box with a little bit more heat on it, It's up there. I'd say probably top five vanilla custard flavors. Um, still doesn't have like a, a, a wow, I gotta have it factor for me. Um, but again, it's it's a good good vape, and if you're looking for something that's um, non PG. Um, more, more holistic, natural stuff. It's good. It's got flavor. It's not, you know, bland by any means. It's still a very good vanilla custard. Um, the next one is, I'm not sure that I'll pronounce this correctly, Straub Guab. It's a strawberry guava. A rich and unique blend of strawberry and guava. Um, my wife actually asked me what's guava. All I could tell her is it's some kind of fruit. 
because that's all I know. It's not something that I'm like, you know, I, I don't go to Whole Foods and pick out all kinds of special stuff. I'm a regular white fat dude. I go to the store and I pick up some cakes. If I'm going to have strawberries, it's probably a strawberry shortcake. Um, not exactly the healthiest of people, but uh, that's not what we're here for. Let's make this flavor. Get a little bit of this straw guam. Um, definitely the clearest of the four as far as the liquids go. Um, probably because of what flavors go into making the other three gives it that tint. And uh, being that my wife is, is so into strawberry, like her favorite damn fruit in the world, strawberry flavors come up a lot in our household and I've had a lot of different strawberry flavors. I'd probably put this at top three for strawberry flavors. There's a, a couple of more local companies that, that their flavor just seems to be a little more intense. Um, this one's a little a little more muted, but again, it's non-PG. It's it's VG everything. Um, and with people out there that have PG allergies and other concerns about what PG might do when we're vaping it, it it's definitely worth a shot. And uh, of the four flavors, it's the one that I like best. Last one is Nutty Cookie. Um, says if chocolate chip cookies and sugar cookies, or matte sugar cookies, and hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, and pralines joined the party. Um, it smells like fresh cookies, like like when your grandma's making homemade fresh cookies in the in the kitchen, and, and the whole house smells like yummy cookies. Um, when I first baked it, when I first baked it, um, it. I, I didn't get any cookie. It's like the, the nuts um, overpowered the cookie flavor. Um, I, got, I, I could definitely taste like the hazelnut and, and, and the macadamia nuts. Um, almost like a uh, like a, a peanut brittle but with higher end nuts. And uh, my wife is over there laughing at me because I'm saying nuts. How about that? But uh, when I used it on the on the again on the hotter build, um, I could taste the sugar cookie. Not so much the chocolate chip. Um, I don't I don't taste even a hint of chocolate in there. Um, but it, it does taste pretty good. And, and for someone like me that. I don't like to eat nuts, um, they hurt my teeth, they get stuck in my teeth, it's just not worth the hassle of eating a nut. Vaping some nut flavors is, is rather cool. Um, I get the, the flavors and the sensations without having to deal with picking them out of my teeth, so that's a plus. So. Uh, Basically what I'm saying is there wasn't really a bad flavor in the bunch that I got. This is by no means their entire line. They've got an entire page of flavor after flavor after flavor on, the, on their website. And um, they all sound intriguing. Maybe I'll get some more for another video another time. But uh, until then, don't just take my word for it. Go to Velvet Cloud. Go to their website, velvetcloud.com, try some of these flavors. They're, they're not over-the-top expensive. Um, 
and they're just they're really good flavors. But no matter what you do, keep vaping.